Hi there. You had promised everyone you would do a short video uh, this week, so I thought we'd just get into it. Okay. Yep, yep. We're back. Lots in the world is going on. We say that often nowadays, but really, biblical things are taking place. So let's look at that for the next few moments. And so I'm going to start with this. Who is Hamas? Yep. We're hearing a lot about Hamas. Hamas is an Islamic resistance movement. They're terrorists. There's 14 to 20,000 people holding 2 million hostage, basically. That's the right. people that they're holding hostage are the Palestinians. Well, that's true. Yeah. That's true. They're backed by Iran. Hezbollah is yes. backed by Iran. That name Hamas has been there for a long time. It's in the Old Testament. The origin is Genesis chapter 6. You look in there, yeah. the days of Noah, their name absolutely means murderous, mm -hmm. violent, warlike. That's what their name means. Now, why is this taking place? Let's go back to 2005. Okay. Israel gave the land of Gaza to the Palestinians, right? That's it's right. It's your land. You can have it. That's they right. provided them with electricity and with water, and they gave them a partition of land that was theirs. Why now? And Israel has left them alone yes, since 2005. 2005. Yeah, so why are they fighting them now? They're fighting them now because they want the total destruction of, of, Jews. Israel, of Israel. They well, want not it just to Israel, gone. the Jews. Pow. Yes. Hamas yes. cries out, kill every Jew yes. on the face of the earth. Now, man, that's some total hatred. That right? is. It's not that we don't like you. We want you to be gone Annihilated. from the earth. Annihilated. So, honey, why do, you, why, why do you think? Why do we know that that takes place? Where well, does this go from? Well, now, this is where we're at right now. Uh, Israel is a nation, a legitimate free democracy, the only free democracy since in the when? Middle East. Since when? So since, really, let's go back to 2000 or so BC, off the top of my head, we have to go back to a man named Abraham. He was Abram, his wife Sarai, she became Sarah. Mm -hmm. And God tells him, we look in Genesis chapter 11, chapter 12, on through Genesis, the story of Abraham, God mm -hmm. says, get out of your country, he left what we know as modern-day Iraq, stopped for a few years in southeastern, modern-day Turkey. And God says, I'm going to take you to a land, Genesis, the latter part of 11, chapter 12. Get your Bibles out. Look at this. I'm going to give you a land that you've never been to before, yeah. how wonderful the land's going to be. And he says, I'm going to make a great nation out of you. All the nations of the world will be blessed because of you. And he says, this is your land. In fact, forever and ever and ever, this will always be your land. Yeah. And he establishes that. And he says, I'm going to give you, then he says the promise that your descendants are going to be as numerous as the stars of heaven and the sands of the seashore, and yet they could not have a baby. Right. And so they devised their own plan, right? Sarah mm -hmm. said, use my hand, maiden. Yeah, take my servant, Hagar. Hagar. And Abraham was with her, had a baby. The baby's name was Ishmael. Had a boy, Ishmael. Uh -huh. Ishmael. God loved It's never Ishmael good too. to do your own plan. Do God's yeah. plan. So... You know, eventually that all fell apart, basically, and Hagar and Ishmael were sent off, and they became yeah. the Arab nation. That's so we right. have the Jewish nation, Israel, and then we have the Arab nation. So how did Israel come about? Then some years later, yet still at Sarah's 90, beyond childbearing years, Abraham is 100, and God says, hey, I gave you a promise, it's going to come to pass, mm -hmm. you're going to have a son, they had Isaac. Yeah. And so we see that is where God made a covenant with Abraham, with the land, and with the lineage of the people. Through you, all the nations of the earth will be blessed. Yeah. Isaac, we have Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Jacob's name was changed by God to Israel. Yeah. Yeah. We have the 12 tribes of Israel, the patriarchs. One tribe was Judah. That is Jew, the Jewish people. Mm -hmm. And what we see, the world's going to be blessed. The cell phone Technology comes from Israel, many patents, many inventions from Israel, foods from Israel, but the greatest blessing from Israel, yes, he is Jewish, our Messiah, Jesus Christ, our Lord and yes. Savior. And so that sort of tells you why the world, the spirit of this world, hates Israel. The spirit of Hamas, violence, they are in that area called uh Palestine, that's not a biblical word, that was given by a Roman emperor in about 165 AD, Herodian, and he renamed it Palestine, Palestinia, from the root word Philistines in the Old Testament, the arch enemy of Israel, David fought Goliath, a Philistine, God said drive out the Philistines, a invader type people, and they are in the Muslim religion, yeah. 
But really, the other Muslim countries don't accept them because their origins are from Crete, and they are like uh, the red-headed stepsister, so to speak. <laughs> That's an old term, but yes. we don't want yes. you. Yes. You're not part of mm -hmm. us, really. So the history of Israel, they had their land, but they were dispersed from their land many, many times, right? How many times have they been abated? Like 52 times since the beginning of time? Well, we, we, we've yeah. got it right here. Yeah. They, they've been out of the land uh, many, many times. And yeah. what we see here is... Yeah. The, history, here it is. Here's the history of Jerusalem. 52 times they've been attacked, 44 times captured, recaptured, besieged 23 times, destroyed two times the city of Jerusalem. The oldest part of the city goes back to 4 BC, one of the oldest cities in the world. Two times they've been gathered and brought back because the Babylonian dispersion, they were taken to captive slaves into Babylon. Daniel talks about that. We just finished the yeah, book of Daniel right, a few yeah. months ago. And then we see Jesus prophesied in 70 AD, Rome is going to level Jerusalem. The Jewish people are going to be dispersed across the face of the earth. And they have been displaced, mm -hmm. dysphoria, and they did not become a nation again. Uh, these occupiers took their place, never, never developed that land of Israel, became a nation, a country. But uh, we see the prophecies of Ezekiel 37. Isaiah says, can a nation be born in a day? Ezekiel 37 said, can these dry bones live? And yes, in 1948, out of the Holocaust, coming from Europe and fleeing from parts of the world, Israel became a nation again after 2,000 years fulfilling biblical prophecy. Yeah, praise God. And they are hated because God loves these people and what God loves and who God loves, Satan hates. God made a covenant with Abraham established forever. It's and amazing. one day Jesus is coming and will set up on the throne in the city of Jerusalem, yeah. ruling and reigning, majesty, power, and peace. So... I think we can understand now the world is against the Jewish people. America has stood with the Jewish people. That's right. And we continue to stand. That's and right. And of course, we believers, Christians, we should stand with Israel. Yes. We believe that they're God's because God says they're his holy people. They don't know him. You know, the Arabs don't know him. That's right. They're all looking for a Messiah. You see, Muhammad was born in, in yeah. 570 A.D., he came along and he was raised on trade routes, Jewish people. Yeah. Traders came through. Christian traders came through. He was illiterate, couldn't read, couldn't write. Uh, he grew up and he had demonic vision in a cave, foaming at the mouth, convulsing. A demon appeared to him, not an angel like he said. Be, and uh, the vision was a new religion, a false religion, combining Christianity, combining Judaism, and combining demonic beliefs. And they really have twisted the covenant yes. and said the covenant and the line comes from Israel, Ishmael, not Isaac. The land was not given to uh, Isaac, but to Ishmael. And there is a new God and a new Lord, and he's Allah. Yeah. And Allah, when they cry Allah Akbar, it's not our God is great. They mean our God is greater, which is not true. It's falsehood. Right. So some of the things that we see happening, even right now as we're speaking, warships are starting to gather. Mm -hmm. Like it's happened before, of course. You know, let's say this. We don't know when Jesus is coming. No man knows the hour. Right. However, there's a lot of things that have taken place in the Bible is a great history tool because what they've said, what the Bible has said has come true. Yeah. And this this one thing is yet to come true. Every prophecy has well, already been fulfilled. Well, yeah, there's nothing one left final yeah. seven-year period, yeah. the Great Tribulation, seven years, so everything. So what could possibly Matthew, take place, yeah, right? Yeah, Matthew 24 sets us up. Yeah. Matthew 24 sets us up. It's all these nations aligning together against Israel. Right. And that would be uh, China. Russia, Russia, Gog, Turkey, Turkey, Iran, uh, there's going to be Ethiopia, Libya, uh, you're going to see European nations gathered, and if America fails to support Israel, yeah. we're going to look at World War III, or the Battle of Gog, that starts at the beginning and puts the tribulation period into motion. But just at that time, just at that time, mm -hmm. there's the promise we see in First. Thessalonians chapter 5, we see it 
We see it in, at the end of Matthew there. We see the church of Jesus Christ. We as believers, mm -hmm. we're going to be caught up to meet the Lord yeah. in the air, in the rapture. I used to, when I was in college, this was my scripture. I used to say, I was in a group and said, the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first, and then we which are alive and remain will be caught up together Amen. with the Lord to meet with him in the air. A Amen. Yeah. Amen. Exciting. It's very exciting. Yeah. That is the truth. Only the church will hear this trumpet. Only the church will hear this shout. It's not the second coming of Christ at the end of the tribulation, which will be the battle of Armageddon, but the church will yeah. see him. The church will hear him. And until then, what in chaotic, violent, yeah. ugly times, this isn't doom and gloom. The word says that we're to encourage each other with this truth, yeah. this blessed hope, Christ in us, the hope yeah. of glory, encourages others. So how should we live? We should live. It says if you want to have children, have children. If get, you want to get married, get married. Get married. If you want to buy a house, good for you. I hope you can buy hope a house. Hope you can with the interest yeah. rates. We're going to pray yeah. for you. Live your life. But most importantly, live out your faith. That's right. Live your Christian values out and be a light. Like right now, people are nervous. They're afraid. Yes, what an opportunity. Yeah. God chose for us to be born at this time and born again at this yeah. time, that we can truly represent Jesus Christ. We can truly see people yeah. come into the kingdom of God, know Jesus yeah. Christ yeah. as their Lord and, and pray. Savior. Spend and time pray. in prayer. Pray, pray for yeah. Jerusalem. Yeah. Pray for God's people. We've been grafted in, as Paul tells us in the New Testament. We're going to see many Jewish people come to Jesus yeah. Christ. That is happening right now in Israel as we speak. And we can live with joy. Yeah. Joy. Mm -hmm. Let's enjoy the life God's given us. We're God's people. The best is yet to come for the people of God. Amen. Look forward to seeing you Sunday. God bless you. Amen.